Here with the coach, Kenny Brooks, Andrew Alagretta with you. The final score is 74 to 59. Virginia Tech gets the win. Coach, a really good start to this game. It wasn't clean at the end. What do you take away from this performance? Uh, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, you know, I thought our performance in the first half, we were efficient. Uh, we still, you know, had some lulls. Uh, we weren't as, as smooth as I wanted to be. Uh, but in the second half, we came out. We were just, you know, you, get, you give credit to UTC. They did a fantastic job. They made us play it a certain way. Uh, that, I thought they played harder than we did in the second half. Uh, we just didn't have the energy. We didn't have the energy or the execution. And um, but, you know, we're learning. We're learning. Uh, you know, we just didn't have a flow. We're playing people in, you know, disjointed rotations. Uh, but that's what we're that's what we're doing. You know, we're doing this right now so we can get better. And uh, the positive is that while we're learning, we're still winning. And uh, so if we can continue to do that. I'll take it. But you know, it's just frustrating because you understand and you know the um, you you know the potential this team has, and uh, so you're going to push and you're going to push and you're going to push until you can get to that point. And uh, and so it's early, you know, but it was it was an ugly second half. I thought, uh, kudos to uh, to uh, to the band uh, in our student section uh, because without them tonight, it was a little quiet. Uh, it was a little quiet tonight. So, but we have to learn how to to feel our own energy, and we weren't able yeah. to do that. Yeah, let's start with the first half. Uh, outside of the first maybe four minutes of this game, the back half of the first quarter, the second quarter, what did you like? What led to that big lead? What was the best that you saw offensively for Tech? I think just the efficiency. I thought we uh, we, we got out. We were a little, we were a little bit sluggish in the beginning. Uh, you know, UTC, you know, Chattanooga, they make you play a very slow down, methodical game. They want to run their offense, and you know the teams that have played uh, against them so far. They've sped them up. You know, they've sped them up. They Louisville, and then I think they played Hampton the other night, and they sped them up. And uh, and we we didn't do that. You know, we, we're we're more of a guard the paint kind of team, and uh, we didn't apply any pressure. Uh, I didn't think we needed to in the first half. We did a really good job. Got out. We were efficient on the offensive end. Uh, but then the second half, we just weren't as efficient on the on the offensive end, and then we lost our focus on the defensive end. Allowed them to really get in the lane. They do a good job of driving at you hard, and they make second and third uh, chance moves. Uh, they have secondary, you know, moves that they they continue to make. And we just kind of gave up one. We weren't ready to guard it, and uh, you know, they they were persistent and went at us and scored. And you know, we just we didn't have that fight, that fire, and we didn't have yeah. the energy that we needed from certain certain kids. And as a result, you know, the score, you know, never really, you know, ballooned. It just kind of teeter tottered back and forth between 14, 15 points. All right, one player that I wanted to highlight, I thought she had a nice diverse game. I'll let you talk about her defensive performance, but Asia Shepard, nine points, six assists tonight. She made some really nice passes, plus five rebounds. She seemed to show you more of a diverse game tonight. What did you think? Well, I thought she was fantastic in the first half, uh, and, and we needed that. Uh, you know, when she plays with a clear mind like she did in that first half, she was you know, phenomenal, gave us that extra off, hit a couple threes. But as you mentioned, you know, she was just really, really um, good everywhere else, you know, rebounding the basketball, uh, playmaker. It was really good. Um, but, you know, second half, we just really didn't get her the opportunity. She really didn't have the ball in her hand that much. Um, but we, we just we weren't we weren't good at all in the second half. <laughs> we weren't. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll watch the film, but we have to get better. We have to get better at what we do, everything and the little things. And I think that we're just really focusing on the big things. All right. So moving forward, Virginia Tech off to Orlando, Florida to take on both Villanova and Richmond. You'll have kind of almost a full week down in Orlando. You guys leave tomorrow. You play on Saturday and Sunday. How will you approach this stretch with the team, both giving them the opportunity to enjoy the holiday, but at the same time continue to make those strides? Well, I think we need to uh, we need to bond. We need to learn, uh, you know, what it's going to take to win at a high level. Yeah. Uh, being away a little bit, being together. Uh, this group, they do they do well when they're together, when they're in confined spaces. Uh, they get along well. Uh, and I think we learn more and more about each other. Uh, you know, being able to get away and practice a little bit, um, just bonding, I think, is really going to help our psyche, our, our everything about what we need moving forward. And um, so we're, we're going to do a lot. We're going to do a lot. We're going to see a lot. Uh, but I think we're going to. It's going to be an educational trip for us as well. All right, I will leave you on this one, Coach. I know it is not the most important thing at all for you, but Virginia Tech certainly came out with some new uniforms tonight. You're always yeah. uh, closely involved with putting those together and a little bit of design work. Do you like these things out there tonight? I. I I didn't like the outcome that we had with them. You know, maybe <laughs> okay. we could have played. Maybe yeah. maybe could have played understand. better. No, but it, it was good. We got we were able to pay a little homage to uh, the Hokie Stone. Yeah. Uh, something that you know, obviously in my two and a half years being here, I understand it's a staple. It's a it's a big part of what Virginia Tech is. It's a signature piece. Uh, you know, when 
you know, when every time a kid comes back into my uh, office after they visited or, you know, visited campus, they always talk about how they love, they like the Hokie Stones pretty. And, you know, so we wanted to put that in a little bit to the uniforms. Uh, shout out to uh, to our design team, uh, myself, Brian Cox and yeah. Tim Clark, uh, put that out there and gave it to Nike. And uh, they, they, they came up with it for us. So yeah. it was pretty good. I thought it was it was a really nice little touch uh, for us to be able to do that. And, you know, we also want to have that uniform, too, when we um, – you know, sometimes because teams are wearing their dark uniforms at home, uh, if we go on the road, you know, sometimes we want to have a, a white uniform and it says Virginia Tech where yeah. it can be. Uh, I know everybody knows what a Hokie is, sure. but, uh, you know, sometimes you want to, you know, display the full name of who we are so that everyone knows who we are. But it's just a really good touch, really good switch up. And the message is if the players want to keep wearing them. They better play better. That's <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they better play better because they play for a superstitious coach. <laughs> yeah. Coach, thanks for the time. Thanks very much. 74 Andrew. to 59. Virginia Tech gets the win tonight.